Thank you. There are more than a dozen bridges in St. Louis right now that are considered structurally deficient, including this one at Union and Lindell, where a falling piece of concrete killed a woman in 2018. News Force Alexis Zotos is digging into which bridges are a priority for the city. Corey, right now I'm on the Compton Bridge near St. Louis University. You can see cars are driving up and down it, even though this is one of the worst ranked bridges in the city. It's considered structurally deficient. It's safe to still drive on, but it is in desperate need of repair, and those repairs are years away. At Park Avenue Coffee in the Hill neighborhood, business is slow. I mean, it's definitely affecting business, um, uh, probably down 10%. One year ago, the city of St. Louis suddenly and without warning closed the Columbia Bridge at Southwest. Built in 1913, the bridge was deemed too dangerous to remain open. Construction, though, isn't set to get underway on the bridge and its neighbor on Southwest Avenue until 2023. Because the Kings Highway Bridge was supposed to be one year and it took over two. So, I mean, that's, yeah, we've lost businesses on the hill and people are struggling because they can't get to our locations. We asked the city why these bridges take so long to fix. They are extremely expensive to replace. Rich Bradley is in charge of bridges for the city. Last February, there were 15 bridges on the structurally deficient list. Now there are 14, thanks to the repairs on the Holly Hill Drive Bridge in Carondelet Park. The bridge near Park Avenue Coffee and the Compton Bridge near SLU are next. But what about the two bridges at Union and Lindell, where a hole remains from a piece of concrete that fell and killed a driver below? I drive under bridges every day that are on the list as well, and you wonder when you drive underneath them, is it safe? The city just finished a $640,000 emergency repair job here. You know, work on the superstructure, remove um, a lot of the spalling concrete, and um, some of the things that you know, we felt uh, we're in definite need of immediate attention. Problems News 4 has reported on since 2007, but a total replacement could be as far away as 2026 for a project estimated to cost around 17 million. The cost is the biggest hurdle. That's because the current city bridge budget. Right now we have a budget around $4 million. You heard that $4 million for all 73 bridges across the city of St. Louis. The city tells me to replace all 14 of these structurally deficient bridges will cost upwards of $100 million, which is why they are forced to rely on federal grants and that federal money can take years to make its way here. Reporting live, Alexis Zotos, News 4.